All right, guys, in today's gaming news video, we have got once again some pretty good stuff to talk about, including our very first look at off-road vehicle gameplay from the upcoming post-apocalyptic zombie game the day before. We also have the announcement of the zombie game that matter coming to early access this year with new details, the next Tomb Raider game, and more. So let's get into it. Before we start, as always, drop a like to give some support, and let's get into it. So the day before, man, this game is pretty entertaining to talk about. There's just so much we know about it yet. At the same time so little. The game got announced out of nowhere about a month and a half ago and keeps coming up with new gameplay videos that all look absolutely perfect in almost all the ways, which is making people wonder if this is all real. The fact this is all coming from an unknown indie developer as well as a mobile publisher is all the more concerning, but if what we're seeing here is actual gameplay, then props to all of them for creating this. Where is all the money coming from to found something that is looking so promising? Is it from the Russian mobile publisher or something else? They're not yet asking for any money through some sort of pre-order or Kickstarter or Indiegogo campaign, so I'm just gonna assume it's real for now. The team at Fantastic just released a gameplay teaser of the off-road vehicle experience. We'll be having a lot of times when we get to play the day before. The player is off-roading with friends in the forest area of the open world, and the developers confirm we will be seeing snowy regions with tons of mountains, smaller villages to explore, and of course New York City, which has been shown in the last two gameplay videos. This off-roading clip is straight up inspired by SnowRunner, and I couldn't be more amazed at how they're able to pull all of this. They're also asking for 10,000 likes on Fantastic Twitter post about this gameplay so they can share the full-length gameplay, so definitely go to the Twitter post and give it a like. At its core, the day before is an open world MMO survival set in a deadly post-pandemic America, overrun by flesh hungry infected and survivors killing each other for food, weapons and cars. You wake up alone in a world you no longer remember, setting out to find answers and the resources to survive. Crush the infected and other players with realistic weapons, becoming a legend of the new world. Take part in the restoration of the former society before it is too late. In the survivor Colony, you can sell your loot and communicate safely with other players. If the developers do come with an Indiegogo campaign or any kind of shady practice for a game as mysterious as this one, then our worries will be confirmed, but for now, I'm really excited to know more about it. Next up, we have the open world zombie game Dead Matter. The game has just got an official confirmation of it releasing in early access this year in 2021, as well as a massive website update with new information and screenshots. Here's what the new description of Dead Matter says. Dead Matter by indie company Quantum Integrity Software Inc. is a zombie survival roguelite set in a near future post-apocalyptic Alberta, bringing together various and pick elements of the open world survival genre along with our own original touches. Dead Matter aims to quench the community's thirst for a title to properly balance survival mechanics with fulfilling gameplay. Here's the key features of the game. It is a detailed open world interpretation of Alberta, Canada, which has never been seen before in any game. There's gonna be a high quality first person perspective to fully immerse the player in the game world. Also a map full of vehicles to explore with and design as your own mobile home or simply barricade and use as some kind of tank to attack. There's absolutely zero pay to win features. There's also a planned full modding support including Steam Workshop with a ton of mods to create and insert into the game. You'll be surviving the apocalypse by hunting, farming or camping. Then matter is said to be created by a talented and passionate team of developers and community staff. Almost any building in Dead Matter can be used as a safe house, so as long as you maintain control of it. Place sheets or boards over the windows to block infected and player visibility. You can also put electricity in it to use lights and things like that. You can also lock the door and make it your own home, but be careful of other players and zombies, of course. You'll compete or cooperate with other survivors to recover rare gear or work towards uncovering the mysteries surrounding the region. You'll also locate, hunt, kill, and skin the wildlife of Alberta for their fuel and meat. Make sure no part of an animal goes to waste as everything is usable in this project and everything is also of good use. Utilize the in-depth farming system that takes advantage of the variety of tools at your disposal. Survive in a slowly decaying world. Over time, fences will start to have more openings and buildings will grow dark and cold when the municipal power grid fails. 
themselves. Here's the message from the studio. We are a hardworking team of multi-talented developers that all originate from the Source Engine and Fallout modding communities. We initially had only three full-time staff and a handful of contractors working on the game. Thanks to our backers and our supportive community, we have been able to grow our studio over the last three years. We now have 20 plus developers working on Dead Matter and we will continue to iterate on the game until it exceeds the original expectations that were set for it. There will be a wide variety of vehicles and customization options as well. Some planned vehicles include bicycles, motorcycles, sedans, SUVs, pickup trucks, box trucks, tractors, ADVs, boats, planes, and trains. Vehicle selection will be limited initially but expanded upon over time. There won't be mutated zombies like exploders and huge hawking brutes, but there will be a variety of zombies that are special in a more grounded way. Stuff like construction worker zombies with protective equipment and military zombies with body armor. Let me know if you guys are excited for this game. It had many many delays and I truly hope 2021 will be the final year they plan on releasing it, as people will start to lose hope. Next up we have the next Tomb Raider game. If you didn't know yet, the next Tomb Raider game has already been confirmed a couple of months ago by director Will Kerslack, who asked fans to be patient as Crystal Dynamics finalizes its vision of the future of the franchise. Now they're confirming this new game will make canon the old Lara Croft games from years and years ago as well as the most recent trilogy. The next Tomb Raider game will be unifying the canonical timelines of both the original installments and the recently rebooted trilogy. For developer Crystal Dynamics, it ends becomes essential to have a canonical Lara Croft as well. Speaking with the official PlayStation magazine for the latest issue, Megan Mary, who works with Crystal Dynamics, stated that the next Tomb Raider game will allow fans the ability to know their favorite Lara Croft is canon, that she has also grown and evolved as a character just as we all do throughout our lives. It is impossible to make changes or update a beloved character and franchise in a way that will please everyone, said Mary. If too much remains the same, then the game has failed to innovate or be relevant for new audiences. If there isn't enough DNA from the original games, then you've lost sight of what made the franchise great. Crystal Dynamics is also celebrating the franchise's 25th birthday with tons of events and surprises throughout 2021. Maybe, just maybe, we'll be seeing a teaser of the game this year, who knows. Finally, Century Age of Ashes just received its official gameplay trailer ahead of the game's launch in April on Steam first and maybe later to console. The game also announced its close beta which is taking place in just two days at the time of this video and will feature matchmaking and new game modes and more. For those who didn't know, this game will be completely free at release. You'll compete in intense online games and discover the fast-paced gameplay of Century Age of Ashes. Dive into the arena alone or with friends and fight for your survival. There's gonna be three varied game modes ranging from 3v3 to 6v6v6, Carnage, Survival and Gates of Fire. Experience different playstyle with three unique classes, each with their own abilities. Shield and Disorient as the Wingard, Track and Destore as the Marauder, or Stealth and Trap as the Phantom. Century Age of Ashes offer carefully designed cosmetic items to stand out in the arena. Gain experience as you play and unlock awesome skins to customize your dragon and its rider. They've also said these items are purely cosmetic and offer no advantage in battle. Alright guys, that is all for today's video. Make sure you drop a like on this video to give some support and of course stay tuned by subscribing to the channel. Talk to you all soon. Thanks to Richard Westfall, Bruce Wayne 236, Thunderbeard, Kian Zofagari, Rickno 23, Diamond Hunter 45, Themistocles, Space Beer Gaming, and Rush Singbati for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for as low as 99 cents only by clicking the join button below. This will support me and the channel as a whole to continue making videos on the games that truly deserve it.